Hey guys and welcome back to our channel Hacks by Banks. I'm Sasha and in this episode we will be talking about how you decide between putting in a tub or full standing shower. All right guys, so if you're renovating then definitely you may have one or two bathrooms that might need to be redone and you're often faced with the decision of putting in a full standing shower or a tub shower combo. Now there's some things that you need to consider before you actually make this decision because trust me, if you don't think ahead, it can affect you in the long run and that has happened to us before. So we just wanted to bring this information to you to help you to make your decision when you're renovating your bathroom. So let's jump right in and look at some of the things that you need to consider before you start your bathroom renovation. The first thing that you need to look at when you're thinking about a shower or a tub is the safety, right? Now we all know that the shop the first thing you need to look at when you're renovating your bathroom and you're deciding between a standing shower or putting in a tub is the safety. Now the shower is safer than the tub. And I know that you've heard about a lot of people slipping and falling in the tub. It's not the safest thing to have, but it also comes with its perks. So from a safety perspective, in our opinion, and experts say <laughs> the shower is safer than the tub. Now from an ease of use perspective, and we're thinking about simply using the bathroom to shower or take a bath from day to day, the shower is easier to use because honestly you just walk into your bathroom and walk directly into your shower. Now the tub you have to step over into the tub and so it can be a bit challenging especially if you have to consider older people who live with you like the elderly if you have somebody in a wheelchair then you need to think about the ease of use of your bathroom for persons who are living with you or who you want to attract. So from a use, from an ease of use perspective, the shower is easier to use. So what's that? Two to zero for the shower to tub. But let's look at some other options or some other things that you need to consider when you're renovating your bathroom. Another thing is functionality. No. When I say functionality, you need to think about who it is that will be using the bathroom on a daily basis. Now, if you have small children or babies, you might want to consider keeping a tub in your home. At least one bathroom with a tub so that it's easier for you to bathe the baby or the child. And that is the reason why we put in one tub in our bathroom because of course we have little Royal and he loves to take baths and sit and play in the tub. So from that perspective, we thought that we would put in just one tub. Now if you have relatives or friends who visit regularly um, and you want to make them comfortable, if you're thinking about doing a guest bathroom or something of that nature, you might want to consider doing the shower tub combo because you don't know what those persons might prefer or might find more comfortable. If you have to consider your parents, elderly parents who come to visit, then you need to consider that as well um, from a functionality perspective. Now, there are some bathrooms that can take both at the same time. For example, if you're doing your primary suite, then you can put in both a standing shower and a freestanding tub or a lot of people like whirlpools or a regular tub. You can have both of them side by side in your bathroom if it's big enough to handle both types of showers. Now, 
this is the type of market now where persons are buying properties to either rent um, to renovate to rent or renovate to resell so what you need to consider is who your target market is when you're renovating that property if you're going to rent a property do you want to rent it to a family does that family have children no if the family has children they would at least want one tub in the house so you need to consider that if you're doing an airbnb and you only have one bathroom then you might want to put in a shower tub combo because you don't know if your guests are bath takers and who is going to want to take a bath you don't want to eliminate a tub right if it's for resale then guys i have to tell you this but people want houses with bathrooms that have tubs so you have to consider who your market is when you're renovating now the last topic i want to talk about and i'm sure everybody probably skipped directly to this part of the video is the cost what is the cost difference between putting in a tub versus just doing a standing show and guys if you guess that the tub will be more expensive then you guess right yes it might cost you more money to put in a tub today but in the long run you'll have the use of the tub and it definitely helps with the resale value and the resaleability is that a word <laughs> of your home house project whatever it may be so let's just break down the cost of putting in a standing shower all right so when you're putting in a standing shower you need to consider tiling the wall all the way down to the ground and you need to consider tiling the shower floor as well you need to consider a shower system and for these types of showers the shower systems are usually simpler so you can get like a shower alone with a single function mixer so it really just makes it hot to cold and turns on and turns on the shower you can if you want to get fancy you can put in a dual a double function mixer which will allow you to have a handheld in the shower but these are the things that you have to consider you also have to think about what you're going to use to separate the bath area from the rest of the bathroom now it could be a simple glass which might cost you a little bit more or you could just want to put in a shower curtain which is going to be the most cost effective way to do your shower right now the considerations for doing a tub is you have to buy a tub so while you don't have to tile from all the way down to the floor some tubs come with the apron side and you don't have to tile the side either some do not the one that we have now did not come with an apron front and so we did have to tile the side but that right there will reduce the cost of your tiling but the tub itself might cost you a pretty penny right and then you have to consider the shower system that you'll be putting into that bathroom because now that bathroom needs a shower system with two functions because you need to have a tub filler what's the point of having a tub guys without a tub filler <laughs> and then for most people who have a tub they just put up a shower curtain but you also have the option of putting a glass on the side of the tub which is more aesthetically pleasing to some people um, that's ideally what we want to do in this bathroom right here but we haven't done it as yet so from a cost perspective guys and i'll just put some figures up on screen so you can compare the cost of putting in a shower to a tub and this is from the most recent project that we've worked on because we put in both types of bathrooms in that home to ensure that the functionality was there and that we were hitting all of the points to meet the target market and also ensure that the resale value of the home was there as well. Now, as a bonus, I just want to say, and I probably said it before, but having a tub, at least one tub in your house, will help to increase the resale value of your house because the shop tower combo 
offers more value to your property than having all standing showers. So you need to consider that when you're doing your renovations. But at the end of the day, guys, it's all about what you want from your property and how you want your property to look, what design you have in mind and what you want to do with your bathrooms. So these are just things for you to consider when you're doing your renovation, but feel free to do whatever you like. It's your house, it's your property. So just go crazy, well, not go crazy, but <laughs> have fun with your renovation, guys. All right, well, that's the end of our video for today. I hope you found this informative. Thank you so much for spending the time to watch this video. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And yes, I shot this video in the bathroom for dramatic effect. <laughs> Share this content with somebody who you know that's renovating, who you think that this content will help. And ensure that you hit the subscribe button. Don't leave without subscribing to our channel because we have a lot more content coming and we have a lot of great content that's already on the channel. Stay safe guys and see you in our next video. Single with us. With a single so you can get a shower system with a single phone. Hey.